Shadowlands is the latest expansion from the theme park MMORPG World of Warcraft. In this video, I'll be giving you my fresh first impressions of the leveling experience as someone who didn't play the beta, avoided all spoilers, and quite frankly lost interest in WoW's story after the Legion expansion. If you've never played WoW before, Blizzard did make this expansion easier than ever to get into for new players, with a revamped leveling experience and a level squish. But before we jump into it, a quick word from today. Today's sponsor. Dungeon Fighter Online is a 2D side-scrolling action game that's inspired by classic arcade games, with impactful hit effects, spectacular combos, and gameplay that's easy to learn but hard to master with an incredibly high skill ceiling. Starting out in DFO, you'll need to choose between 16 diverse classes, which become 64 different classes once you reach Class Awakening, which adds further depth and options to class playstyle. Right now, it's easier than ever for new players to jump into Dungeon Fighter Online, as there's currently a level up event that allows you to jumpstart your new character to level 100 with a full set of level 100 legendary gear, fragmented abyss gear, and a plus 12 reinforced epic weapon. Additionally, you can use the coupon code on screen before December 15th to receive a free cosmetic avatar set. So if you're looking for a fast paced, high skill action game with charming pixel graphics and an active community, then click the link in the description below to try out Dungeon Fighter Online today. So today's the launch of World of Warcraft Shadowlands, and in the end I decided I'm going to play a warrior for this expansion. The reason being is I wanted something that's good in PvE, but also something that's really fun to play in Battlegrounds and PvP. So the warrior fits that for me. Warriors also have some badass transmogs as well, so there's that. So we're here with the squad at the Frozen Throne, listening to a speech from Bolvar. Absolutely love this guy's weapon. Not sure if you can get it as a transmog, but wow. Now I need to place the shards of domination in a circle. I can really feel my character dragging these shards. And we've opened a black hole. We're all jumping in. Okay, we're immediately in combat seconds after getting sucked into the Shadowlands. Looking like an absolute champion. And Warrior's feeling pretty good straight away. Feels good to be playing such a high mobility class in the Arms Warrior. Especially in the moor where you can't actually use your mount. And in the quests. Oh, here's Jaina. Soloing half the moor. Thrall's here as well. Nice. So now we're fighting these evil angel type things. Okay, that was fast. And now we've been teleported. I hate these escort quests. You go a little bit far ahead of them and then they just stop walking. There's been a lot of roleplay and waiting around for NPCs to talk so far. Why do I have to click on her so she continues talking? Just fucking talk. So now we need to capture a giant shadow. These spikes do big damage. But yes, like half my health. Okay, Sylvanas is here. Sylvanas has captured Anduin. This is her chance. She should just chop his head off right now. But no. Have they updated the character model for Anduin? He looks kind of weird. Yeah, his face looks kind of fat now. I'm not gonna lie. I hate these quests in WoW. Where you're going around killing mobs and you've got like two main lore characters just following you around like lost puppies like Jaina and Thrall It feels weird three the last spirits Thrall and Jaina just tanking the spikes taking zero damage My immersion. Oh, hello. What's going on here? Tentacles popped out of the bridge. What's hell you doing down here? Oh we're in some kind of river of souls now giant NPC in the distance. Oh, he's got Bane Bloodhoof Oh, and he's dropped into his death. Okay. No! See you later, Bane. He's not dead. How far did he fall? That's hurt my immersion. Seeing him literally be thrown off a cliff and he's actually not dead. What do you mean a crossbow? It's clearly an axe. So all of these weapon racks have the same weapons. And they're all like axes. And you click on it and it's a staff. It's not easy to suspend your disbelief whilst playing this game sometimes. Some kind of ghost inside of Bane. We're giving him a little exorcism. There you go, Bane. You're only alive because of me. The one true champion of Azeroth. Hold here. Are you gonna come, Jaina? Like, there's a massive gap here you can just walk through. Or it gives you the false illusion that the NPCs are following you. But no, it's just all scripted going through the motions. No decision for the player to make. Come on, you can walk around that circle, lads. You coming? 
Fuck me. Hold here. Okay, Jaina, are we allowed to walk forward now? Okay, up to you. The waystone's not responding to any of them, but it's responding to me. Because I am the one special thing of Azeroth. Only I can touch the waystone for some unknown reason. Oh, Jesus, there's a massive army of monsters here now. And there's the jailer. Okay. Why are you just standing there waiting to get put in chains? Are they all just going to stay in here? And I've escaped. And the others are all trapped. Okay, and we've appeared at this crazy place. Some weird kind of race of giants here. Try to communicate. Oh, they speak English. Certainly an interesting looking place we've arrived at. This is known as the Arbiter, apparently. The Arbiter is like a god. It judges people and then puts them in the afterlife they want to go in or something. The afterlife they deserve. So because Sylvanas fucked everything up, Every soul just goes to the moor by default now, even if they've been good all their life. God is basically broken in this game. We need to repair it. Now I've got portals to Stormwind and Ogrimmar sorted out. I've literally just been sitting here for 10 minutes listening to NPCs just waffle on. Look at this, I'm just fucking waiting for this idiot. Moving at a snail's pace and I've got to follow him around this giant city. 60 seconds for him to walk from here to here. Thanks. See how long it takes for him to get here. I could have a wank whilst I'm waiting for this guy to arrive. Fuck me. Send me to Bastion. So we need to go through some kind of divine gateway type thing to go to the different zones. This is kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of the portals in Terra. And we've arrived at Bastion. Nice. Another NPC to follow. At least she's moving at a reasonable pace. This is a vibrant looking area, look at that. Level 51, wash away the trauma of death. This guy lifts, look at those arms. My first piece of new expansion gear, item level 90. Finally starting to replace my old expansions gear. Starting to feel a little bit better, cracking on with some normal questing now. A little bit more freedom. I'm not seeing too many other players running around, I don't know if the game's heavily sharded or something, but I may be the most important hero Azeroth has ever known. That doesn't excuse me from simple chores, such as carrying boxes. I've got a quest to tidy up. It's okay, I'm in a different plane of existence. Maybe in this world, I'm not that much of a big deal. So now I just need to keep putting logs in until this goes to 100%. This quest reminds me of refining oil in old school RuneScape. All of this was to make some new armor and I actually get that as a quest reward, so pretty cool quest this one. Kill it, kill it, kill it, die. Oh, got it. I gotta kill this thing, it's got two million health. Not sure how I'm gonna do that. Jesus. Oh, I see I was supposed to die there. This isn't what bathing in a pool looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Little boss fight. It's another player here. Made it pretty easy for me. Meditation complete. New boots unlocked. Um, okay. They've just given me some golden wings. Spear of Bastion. Throw a spear at things dealing damage. Okay. This is actually a really nice looking zone. Definitely gonna come here for my thumbnail. Bloody hell. Look at that. By WoW standards, this zone looks fantastic. The mobs here look really cool. Look how shiny this one is. This guy's such a drama queen. This guy's supposed to be a bastion of hope in this world. And he's scared of a shadow. Not a bad view. Just let him succumb. He doesn't have what it takes. He doesn't have what it takes to be cleansed. I cannot save them. I cannot even save myself. We went through all of that and we couldn't even save him. How could this happen? So he's going to the dark side, is he? Now the dark-winged faction are here to cause some trouble. Now to cleanse the temple and kill these evil guys. Level 52. Lots of quests to hand in. Dude's carrying me to the top of a giant floating platform by the looks of it. So my job is to throw a hammer at some bells. Ding. Finally, I'm going to get myself a new great sword. 23 seconds stun. It's a bit OP, isn't it? Epic upgrade, item level 110. She's holding me like a bloody action figure. I feel so small. <laughs> I used execute and the mob said well executed. I don't know if that's just for warriors, but that's kind of cool. Too much 
damage. I like the dialogue from these mobs. Ooh, epic upgrade. I am level 116. Next up, I need some new shoulder pads. Then I've got that Shadowlands transmog going on. These kind of quests feel good because I'm doing like a main story quest, but I'm also doing a bonus objective at the same time. I like those kind of quests in WoW. I like the feeling that I'm killing two birds with one stone. I'm sure all of this is super interesting for those people that are interested in the lore. Unfortunately, I really haven't been following WoW lore for many years at this point, so none of it really makes sense to me. It's all a little bit alien at this point. To be honest, I'm still kind of unclear on Sylvanas' motivation for opening the Shadowlands in the first place. On to the next questing chapter. So I need to select a steward companion, apparently. We've all got the same voice i don't really understand all right we'll go with this one achievement unlocked your personal assistant oh you can sell me food and drink as well very useful well this area looks pretty damn epic reach level 53 to continue there's a lot of particle effects and stuff in this zone looks good blizzard really pushing the capabilities of this engine to its max. Close the void portal. I'm really blazing through this questing now. That's level 53. I've got 189 ping, so this might not work the way I'm intending it to. Alright, Gleep. Okay, nice. Caught up on all my side quests in this zone, and now I'm halfway through level 53. Another cutscene. What's going on here? Hellu's popped out, has she? And now Naxxramas has popped out? This is getting a little bit trippy, honestly. It seems like anything and everything is possible in the universe of World of Warcraft. You've got random shit teleporting everywhere. It wouldn't surprise me if one day my character grows wings out of his ass and just fucking flies around like a Super Saiyan. Thousand quests completed, really? I haven't played this character too much then, have I? So we've charged up a Colossus, apparently, and I'm getting to drive it. But that's just zapped all of those things back to the moor. Finally, got myself some new shoulder pads, and now I look like a Shadowlands character. That's right, handle me like a toy. I like it. They've captured one of our friends. Oh, bloody hell, he's turned into a bone monster. Killed the bone monster, now what? Ensure they do not interfere. Oh, hello. Oh fucking hell, what happened there? Was I supposed to die then? Bunch of level 60 monsters just appeared and one tapped me. Why are they level 60 all of a sudden? And, and how the hell do I get back over here? Jump to my death, I guess? Is anyone gonna come rescue me? Apparently? What the hell is going on? I'm so confused. That was some scuffed quest design. It's so nice just to have a normal set of gear without having some bullshit Azerite armor or some stupid artifact that I need to worry about. I've really missed simple gearing in World of Warcraft. New zone unlocked, Maldraxxus. This some kind of Scourge themed area or Burning Legion, I'm not too sure. There's a lot going on here, that's for sure. Some kind of giant Colosseum? Looks like we've encountered another new race. So I just need to go into this arena and just kill everything. This is cool. It feels like an absolute bloodbath. 30 out of 30. Level 54. 10 out of 10. Now I'm killing some lich monster. Conqueror's banner. Now I've unlocked another zone ability. Let's give it a go, shall we? Let's just plant my banner down. That's given me a big DPS increase. I am the champion of Maldraxxus. Now I'm fighting with some faction called the House of the Chosen. Fighting every weird and wonderful creature imaginable. Now a dragon's chasing us. Fall a thousand meters out of the sky. Absolutely fine though. House of the Chosen. Nice house. Looks like an absolute shithole. So this guy's our new friend apparently. The name of this quest is Through the Fire and the Flames. Fleshcraft. Form a shield of flesh and bone. Absorb damage. Nice. I'm using this special blade to open a door. These little flying bat things. What the fuck is that? Apparently we're stirring a cauldron right now. It looks like my character's holding in a shit more than anything. Level 55. Halfway to level 60. I'm gonna take a little bit of a break because I'm losing the will to live. Look at the size of those shoulder pads. Clicked on a potion, I've turned into one of these things. Okay, that's pretty fun. My walking animation feels completely different now. One, number two, three. Kill some plant boss. Executor. Now we've summoned a giant blob woman. You can click on a lore book now. 
and it tells you the story of the zone. That's pretty good. Seems to be quite concise as well. So we're collecting these runes. I need five of them, then I can unlock this door. This person here has a bloody epic transmog. Two Thunder Furies, full gold, demon horns. I kind of wish warriors had more things off the global cooldown. It's like every ability is on the global cooldown, it seems. I appreciate that I've got more abilities. I just wish I could press more things at the same time. Piles of corpses on top of me. Surely any conscious being that looks like that would just do whatever they possibly could to purge themselves from existence. Hello, my name's Bob the Flesh Warden. I don't get weekends off. I don't have a girlfriend. And I can't even have a wank because my hands are razor blades. Nice to meet you. What am I even looking at? One would assume standing in this, you're just gonna instantly get the HIV debuff. And he's got some kind of weird spine growing out of his back. So even if he wanted to get a nice night's sleep, he probably can't even lay down comfortably. I'm leading some owl medics around trying to recover the bodies of these angel things. Nice, our dungeons just popped. Ooh, I actually got loot. I definitely enjoyed Bastion more than Maldraxxus. It's been a real drag of a zone and the whole zone's just fucking hideous. So now we've taken control of this giant construct and we're gonna go slaughter everything. That's the third rune. Killed the boss, collect the thing, and that's level 56. Rune number four. Looks like the house of the chosen's been attacked. I gotta jump into this soul pillar apparently. I've gone back to the moor. First thing I tried to do re-entering the moor is try to mount up. What the hell race is this? What the fuck? This quest is so buggy, like, some of us aren't getting the stealth. This quest is really buggy. I'm standing on top of this bloody NPC, and I'm just randomly going in and out of stealth. So now I've opened a way gate from the moor to Oribos. And we've rescued our friends. Giant ass pit lord dominating the Colosseum. So now I've finally got the fifth rune on this sword, I can open this door. I've activated this Primus thing. And it's just zapping everything. So I guess our house now controls the zone of Maldraxxus because we have access to this area. Seven out of seven Maldraxxus. Jane is being tortured, apparently. So is Thrall. He's not having a good time either. They're all stuck in the moor. Gateway to the next zone called Ardenwald. Bloody hell. It looks like Shadow Moon Valley, but on steroids. Holy. Yeah, I really like what I'm seeing in the distance. This zone definitely rivals Bastion in aesthetics straight away. I have a feeling I'm gonna enjoy questing in this one. That's a bloody interesting creature. Thought it was a bit of scenery at first, not an actual NPC. Those trees look glorious. This quest is to make the bird fall in love with my bird and then bait it away from the nest. Rescue the cute little squirrel thing. Well, I'm sure that's gonna be a new playable race at some point in the future. It's like a cooler looking drain eye. Thank you, stranger. It's so hard to find someone you can trust. I don't trust this character though. I feel like she's luring me into a trap. Okay, there really is a sick elder. Maybe I've just got trust issues. What big teeth you have, Granny. Okay, it was a trap. Why does she want to kill me? What have I done? What the fuck is that? Really enjoying the aesthetics of this zone so far. I'm gonna need to do something about my bags. How have I not got add-ons to just sell my junk? This is a cool looking animal that we need to kill. I've grown some weird translucent wings. So now she's given me the gift of the forest or something. And that's gonna be my zone ability for this area. I guess this is where we learn about the evil faction of this zone. Let's test out my new zone ability. Nice. It's like a big AoE cleave. Level 57. Questing's been way more enjoyable in this zone so far. Some weird Harry Potter style magic duel is going on here by the looks of it. Now the wolf's joined in the magic fight. Now I need to go in and finish it off. I didn't notice at first, but these things are like galaxy trees. This is another important NPC, apparently, called the Winter Queen. Been impaled by some kind of tree branch. I like the look of this flying mount. Dude, why does sweeping strikes have to be on the global cooldown? Is there any need for that? So now I've got an escort quest where I need to escort this seed in some kind of weird floating push chair. Next up, the Blighted Beast. Pretty cool looking monster. I think it's time I get myself a one-handed sword so I can tank a dungeon later on. Well, this area is extremely blue. Another new zone ability. This is a cool zone ability. So you turn into this awesome looking fox thing 
and you can blink every four seconds. Snarling intensifies Arden Wheeled. Arden World. Arden World. How the fuck do you say that? World. Arden World. And now we can rescue the heart thing. Just in time. That's convenient. They've all been turned to snails. Every time things look bad in WoW, someone arrives at the last second to just save you. Every time. There's so many quests like this in WoW. Just grow wings and fucking blow everything up. And now we're swimming through the air, as you do. I've got a fucking jet beam coming out of my ass. My character's an actual superhero. Need to heal. Yeah, C3. Ooh, good heal. Big damage. Kill the weird budget death wing illusion. Level 58. Ready to relive the dreamer's nightmare. Wasn't this cutscene from... Wow, Legion. So now I'm reliving what this dragon went through after it became corrupted. That's kind of cool. So Ysera came down here and then we defeated her. It's pretty fun getting to play from the bad guy perspective. The cutscenes from back in Wow, Legion look a lot different than they do now. The ones now actually look a lot more polished. Seven out of eight chapters. I'm gonna go get some sleep. It's like 4 a.m. here now. Back again today to finish off the final part of the leveling. Right now I'm trying to find some hidden spies. Attackers slain. Now there's a big war going on. Looks like our friends are getting absolutely slaughtered. Bear versus tree thing. This thing doesn't have a whole lot of health. Really? That was the fight. Now I've got another seed escort mission. I don't really mind doing escort quests in this zone. There's plenty of nice scenery to look at. Is this an escort quest where you actually don't get attacked? A little bit of innovation there from the WoW devs. Now Ysera has been reborn into Ardenwald. And that's Ardenwald completed. By far the best zone I've quested in so far. Onto the final zone, Ravendreth. Based on the colour of the portal, I'm guessing this zone has some kind of red aesthetic. Is it raining blood? For someone who the NPCs refer to as just a mere mortal, I've certainly survived my fair share of 500 feet drops from the air. You'd think at this point your character, lore-wise, is considered more than just a mere mortal. So this place is called Dark Haven. New flying mount, question mark. Learn Condemn, replaces Execute, deals shadow damage. This seems kind of good for a warrior. I like the animation on this new Execute. Big damage. Cleave it all down together. Another woman in my life that's angry with me. Brilliant. I guess that's her daughter or something. Oh shit, she killed her daughter. Execute. And she's dead. Good fight. That I will take from you, traitor. What the fuck are they doing? Wait, she's just willingly walking into the cage. That was a little bit odd. Oh, level 59. I'm gonna take this rapier purely for the transmog. And that's another boss dead. I've got four chapters left. I wonder if that's gonna be enough XP to get me to level 60. I have a feeling I'm gonna be a little bit short and I'm gonna have to run around looking for side quests. Another new character, Stonehead. Fun little quest, I need to stand on the spots, grab the ingredients then. Use it to brew tea. This guy thinks he's a big shot. He has to have two goblins following him around with an umbrella at all times. This quest's really making me want to sleep. What tedious ass escort quest. We're gonna do some parkour, are we? Yes. So now we click on this giant mirror and we redirect it. It's like we're jumping back into the moor. Back to the moor we go. I've heard a lot of good things about this Torghast area. Apparently it's like some kind of solo PvE roguelike experience. Attend the tower, save souls, seek power. Increase maximum health by 45% or mastery by 9%. I'm liking the look of this. Luckily as a warrior, I've got pretty good self-sustain. I'm actually gonna go with crit because I think it's gonna be bad if I just go full survivability. I'm probably gonna struggle later on. Big executes. Okay, so killing the elite also gives me another Thing. This is a common one and this one's uncommon. This little Torghast thing is the most fun thing I've done so far this expansion. As this is part of the main quest line, I'm sure this is like a tutorial beginner introduction to it and I'm sure there's a lot more depth with the actual thing. Well, that was certainly a lot of fun. I enjoyed that a lot. Reach level 60 to continue your journey, bro. Fuck it, I'll cure as a tank. First boss down. Boss number two, Shattering Stone, okay. So he needs to move out of the group. 
So he doesn't turn everyone to bloody stone. And he's dead. Okay, that was pretty easy. It probably would have been quicker just doing a few side quests to get to level 60. But this is obviously more fun. So someone's being fixated by a mob around the room. They seem to just need to keep running. Okay, it's dead. A few of us close to dying. So we're fighting Lord Chamberlain now. I'm pretty sure he was our friend at the start of the questing in this zone. GG, easy, level 60. And I didn't die whilst tanking the dungeon, despite not tanking in years. Not too bad. Now I'm level 60, I can finally finish off this final chapter. Okay, so this looks like the final quest. Begin the assault, and it's a scenario. Well, this guy's fucked now, isn't he? So I guess we're not gonna kill this guy here. I guess he's gonna be a boss in a raid later on or something. Okay, everything's getting sucked in. Some kind of hole. Remember this lesson. For some reason, he's just let this guy survive. There it is, the master of Ravendreth, and that is each of the zone's main storylines completed. So now I need to pick a covenant, and ability-wise, it seems like Necrolord is probably the best. The one that allows me to put down this big AoE pool to increase my crit and then have an absorb shield. That seems amazing for Warrior. Seems like the Ventfear one is equally as good. Realistically, if I was to just pick based on the Covenant I like the most, I'd go with this one. The Kyrian one I didn't really care too much for. Oh, you also get some special transmog for joining the Covenants as well. Okay, let's check out the transmogs. If I was a Death Knight, 100% would pick the Necro Lord. Look at that transmog. Oh, that one's good as well. Fuck, dude, this is such a hard choice. Oh, uh, dude, I don't want to go to fucking Maldraxxus again, but I want to have this transmog and I want to have the Necro Lord abilities. This is an important choice, but can be changed later. Oh, okay. No worries then, I'll just join the Night Fae for now. And then I've got the Night Fae campaign, which I'm not gonna cover in this video. That's nine chapters, and I think this video is already probably gonna be fairly long. Made it to level 60, we joined the Night Fae, and now the end game adventure begins. So I'm not gonna do my usual pros and cons in this video, as I literally just interacted with the leveling, which is pretty irrelevant in the grand scheme of things, but my thoughts so far are as follows. In terms of story, I didn't really see anything that made me want to learn more and get back into learning about WoW lore. To me, the story in WoW is so crazy at this point that I've lost interest. My favorite leveling zones in order of best to worst were Ardenwald, Bastion, Revendreth, and then Maldraxxus last. Leveling felt way more story driven and on rails in this expansion than all other previous expansions. Thankfully, once you've gone through it once, you have the choice to level up your alts through a different system called the Threads of Fate, where you level up via world quests, side quests, bonus objectives, and dungeons. Having this option is fantastic, in my opinion. Torghast is a great new experience added to the game that seems to have some good replay value, a decent amount of solo challenge, and decision making from the player. I've seen stuff like this done in other MMOs, and it seems like a nice addition to WoW. Overall, if you liked previous World of Warcraft expansions and previous WoW leveling, you'll probably enjoy Shadowlands, as it's more of the same really. There's no massive fundamental changes, although there's no AP grinding this time around, so if you disliked that about Legion and BFA, then this is already an improvement. If you're desperate to play an MMO right now, then why not give it a try? The endgame progression is always fun for a few weeks at the start of an expansion, so you'll probably get your money's worth. But that's it for this video guys, as always let me know your thoughts on WoW Shadowlands so far in the comments below. Shout out to ExitLag for improving my ping during the making of this video. If you play online games or connect to foreign game servers and want to min-max your connection, then I highly suggest giving ExitLag a try. Thanks for watching, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you again really soon.